Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, BSG Trekfan88, formerly known as Movie King 88 here to do another hands-on product review. <clears throat> this is the Acer Aspire 1 netbook. It's the 722. Um, it packs a 250 gigabyte hard drive. It came with 2 gigabytes of memory, but I've since upgraded to 4. Uh, that hard drive is running at 5400 RPM. It has an 11.6 inch LED backlit uh, liquid crystal display. Um, what's special about this particular netbook, a couple things. One, the monitor is running at 1366 by 768, so that's perfect high definition resolution for 720p videos such as YouTube or um, daily motion or anything like that. Um, and also that it has an integrated graphics chip. It's going to have the ATI Radeon HD 6250 graphics chip, which is, which is pretty badass. Uh, of course it's going to have Wi-Fi. Um, on the right hand side here you see that it has a uh, multi-card reader. Right now I'm using that for Ready Boost. I upgraded to 4 gigs of memory but I also put a 4 gig SD card in there for Ready Boost. It helps a little bit. It helps a lot if you don't upgrade the RAM from 2 gigabytes. Um, headphone jack, uh, mic jack, even though it has a built-in mic, two USBs, uh, lock, and on the other side you'll find the power jack, uh, Ethernet, VGA, another USB, and an HDMI output. Now I have hooked up this laptop netbook to a high def TV and the picture was beautiful and there wasn't much delay at all. Um, it has an 11.6 inch screen so it's a little bit bigger than your average 10 or 10.2 inch netbook and I appreciate the extra the extra size there. I mean you know if you're gonna be using this thing for presentation purposes I wouldn't recommend it unless you're connected to an outside monitor but you get the idea. It's a six cell battery um, I've basically gotten, you know, a good seven and a half, eight hours on power, you know, power saver on high performance. It averages about five or four, depending on what you're doing. And of course, it depends if you have your Wi-Fi turned on, the brightness of the screen, um, all that stuff. Um, it does have that interesting looking, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it has that, you know, that, that water drop, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, I, I prefer a flat surface, but it doesn't bother me that much. Um, the outside of this is a fingerprint whore. I mean, good God. It, it really does attract fingerprints. I like the finish. It's like black with flakes, you know, if you've seen this in the store, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but surprisingly, oh, I'm going to put this down real quick because you can't open it unless you hold it down, which is a good and bad thing. It's a good thing, but it's just an inconvenience. Um, on the inside here, this is not a fingerprint hog. It's basically a non-glossy version of it. So that's pretty good. I mean, I, I can accept the fact that the outside is glossy. Um, so let's wake this guy up. It was already turned on, it was just sleeping. Yeah, let's go in here. Um, fast wake up time. Um, the trackpad and keys are fairly responsive. Obviously, being a netbook, the keys aren't going to be completely solid. So you can see that as I, as I push in, they kind of flex in just a little bit. I've seen worse, but it's still there. Um, the HP netbooks have the best keyboard as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't bend in at all. Um, the trackpad's, again, responsive. It feels very good in the fingers and the hand. Um, it's just not as responsive on the screen as it could be unless you really go in there and, and mess with the settings. But it's personal preference on what it is. Um, the, the click is pretty decent. It, it doesn't feel like it's very solid. It's just a piece of plastic. But, you know, I use a, a, a mouse if I can, so. But for portability purposes, this gets the job done just fine. Um, so let's go into performance right now. For your basic web browsing and whatnot, and YouTube, it's very decent, especially when you're running 360p or 480p on YouTube. See, internet popped up very good right there. We'll just do a test website, and I'll use the mic. StarTrek.com. There you go. I mean, the internet's pretty damn snappy. I'm running on Wi-Fi right now. My router is about 20 feet away. Um, but it loads pages fairly quickly. Um, no harm there. Facebook, same deal. You know, very quick, very responsive for a netbook. Uh, now, I'm going to load up YouTube here. I always thought that because this thing had a built-in graphics chip and like the box says it can handle 720p video. Now Google Chrome has been kind of funky recently. I don't know if it's going to handle um, you know, HD video. It should. Um, and glorious bastards trailer. 
Now, I can assure you, I've used this on Firefox and Google Chrome, and it will handle 720p YouTube videos without stuttering and without delay, which is very impressive for a netbook. For some reason recently, though, Google Chrome has not been the best performer, but as we all know, Google Chrome has uh, Flash built into the, the the browser itself, so that might be that might deal with it. Um, I'll pull up Firefox if this doesn't work too well for you guys. <clears throat> Letting the video load. Do, do, do. There we go. Trying to give you the best thing here. Ten hot eyes forward. There you go. Perfect. It looks amazing. There's no stuttering and delay. Contrast is pretty good. Uh, viewing angle on this laptop from left to right is okay. Up and down, it really could be a little bit better. But for a netbook, for this, for the screen quality, the picture quality, I'll take that as a trade-off. You guys obviously can't really tell too good right now, but you can tell that there's no stuttering and there's no delay, unlike other netbooks. Um, if I try and go to 1080p, it, it, it just won't handle it at all. It'll, it'll do it, it'll just stutter, but to be completely honest with you, you don't need 1080p. I mean, right now it's doing perfect, but it will stutter every now and then, as you can kind of tell. But 720p is what the screen was built for resolution-wise, and it looks beautiful. Um, if I go in here and go to my external hard drive, I'm using a Media Player Cinema Edition Classic. Now, this is a 35 gigabyte 1080p Blu-ray rip that I have of my favorite movie, Terminator 2 and this netbook will play it flawlessly. You know, click, go to the middle of the movie. I really wish you could see this. The, the picture quality is phenomenal, and the performance of it when I skip around here to go to the different parts of the movie is awesome. So, so video performance is, is very impressive, and it's highly recommended, especially if you use this laptop on the road to watch movies um, and all that, all that gooey stuff. Um, yeah, a very responsive netbook. Um, a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, I really wish that the processor was a little bit better. It's clocked at, excuse me, it's clocked at a gigahertz, which it does show its uh, lack of power every now and then, especially when converting audio files. Like if I go to iTunes and want to convert something. Um, Oh, I'm optimizing my hard drive. I didn't know that. Sorry. You know, I just, I just double-clicked iTunes, and the processor's running at 93%. And it takes a little bit to load. Of course, iTunes is iTunes. But to take a file and switch it over to MP3 or Apple lossless, it takes a little bit. Now, again, this is a netbook. I don't expect the world from it. Um, but that being said, it could be a little bit better. But anyway, um, this is the Acer 722. Just a quick hands-on video very light about 3.2 pounds so round down to three um, if we go into control panel real quick and I go to security system and system it's running Windows 7 64 bit forgot to mention that earlier um, well I need to update my experience but it'll be a uh, it'll be 2.8 now um, the processor is 2.8, the memory at 4 gigs right now is 4.9, the graphics is 3.9, which is pretty impressive for a netbook. Um, graphics, uh, gaming graphics is going to be 5.5, and primary hard disk is going to be 5.7. So, I would recommend this netbook for anybody looking for something portable, uh, college kids, people who want something while they're at work for their own personal use. Um, I would recommend using an external hard drive and not filling up your internal. Make sure you defrag this thing every now and then. Um, for my purposes, I use it for my telescope and to run astronomy programs quite a bit. That's mainly why I bought this guy. And I did buy this one mainly because it has a larger screen and the graphics chip as opposed to the other Acers that are out there that just have the Atom that do not run. You know, the, the, the Acer, or sorry, the AMD C50 processor. So, you know, this Sterellium runs pretty damn responsive at about 40 frames a second, um, which is, you know, the same as my scratch built home desktop computer so all right this has been bsg trek fan 88 for you guys uh if you have any questions about this netbook please you know in the comments or private message me if you want me to show you how this performs with a certain task as long as it doesn't cost money like if you want me to show you how 
Format Factory does or how Steam does. That's nothing, real quick. You can play minor games on this, but it's going to tax the CPU quite a bit, so I wouldn't recommend it unless it's a light game. Um, but if you need anything to be shown to you, let me know. I'll be happy to film another video of this thing for, I don't know, converting a file or playing a game if I can. You know, just let me know about it, alright? Uh, thanks a lot for joining me, and this has been the Aspire1722 netbook.